for atomic masses no? so then uh, these atomic masses you have to know those atomic masses sometimes they give you sometimes they don't give you so the atomic mass of the carbon is 12 the atomic mass of uh, oxygen is for 16 hydrogen is 1 and sulfur is 32 and nitrogen is uh, 14 right so then uh, here is the, the the question right okay or else uh, this is the statement so i don't have uh, i didn't write the questions so they say 20 percent excess um 20 percent excess of uh, a is used to completely burn a certain fuel uh, which consists of uh okay it consists of uh, 80 carbon 80 percent of carbon zero okay okay is eight percent of um hydrogen is six percent of sulfur six percent of um, oxygen right so now here's the question the question says calculate um calculate the the mass of uh, the mass of the air required to completely burn this um fuel right so we're going to uh, calculate using the first principle first and then we're going to use uh, the formula right so if we are going to use a first principle uh, we have to um, do all the, the okay we have to write down the uh, equation so if a carbon we re carbon react with the oxygen it will give us a uh, high uh, carbon dioxide right so uh, when you calculate uh, uh, using um, okay when you calculate the the amount of oxygen right the amount of oxygen that needs um, that we need to completely burn uh, this uh, carbon with this carbon to produce carbon dioxide we're going to use the uh, the atomic masses uh, then uh, now we're going to substitute with the atomic masses right so uh, carbon it has a 12 uh, uh, okay uh, the atomic mass of carbon is 12 plus uh, this two we multiply to multiply by the ma atomic mass of uh, oxygen which is 16 uh, and then it will give us 2 12 plus 2 multiplied by 16 right so then uh these are uh, uh, the atomic uh, okay this is the equation but first you have to um the question must be um uh the, your 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 equation must um must balance right okay so then uh, here we're going to have uh, 12 plus uh, 32 is equals to uh, 44 okay so then uh, we're going to uh, divide uh, by uh, 12 uh, throughout so the reason why we divide by 12 we want to know if now they say that if we have 12 um if we have a uh, 12 kg of uh, oxygen uh, so if you have 12 kg of carbon we need 32 uh, kg of oxygen to completely burn uh, 12 kg of carbon to produce uh, 44 kg of carbon dioxide right but now we want um, 1 kg that's why we're going to divide by 12 throughout then going to divide by 12 then when you divide by 12 here is going to have 1 plus then say the uh, 32 32 um, 32 times okay 32 divided by 12 is uh, it give us 2.667 uh, uh, right which is will be equals to uh, 44 44 divided by 12 it give us 3.667 Right. So now, in other words, now we need one kg. Okay, if we have one kg of carbon, yeah? if we have one kg of carbon, we need um, to. Uh, okay, if we have one kg of carbon, we need two point six six seven kg of oxygen. Right, of oxygen. If we have carbon to produce three. Uh, to produce 3.6667 uh, 
seven of carbon dioxide right so here is um this is the amount of oxygen required to completely burn one kg of a uh, carbon of carbon right but now here uh, now we have only uh, if we check in our statement we only have um uh, zero okay we ha only have eight 80 percent of carbon right so if we have 80 percent of carbon going to match or going to divide by so 80 percent is divided by 100 it gives us 0 0.8 that means it gives us 0 0.8 kg this one going to 0 0.08 kg then this one going to be 0 0.06 kg and then this one going to be 0 0.0 six uh, kg so when we add up this one it must give us one kg right one kg so because if we add up here it's going to give us hundred percent right so now if we are uh, then we see um in we have zero point eight kg of carbon not a uh, okay then so from uh, our equation this equation is for one uh, kg but we have a 0 0.8 kg we're going to multiply it by 2.667 uh, of oxygen then it will give us uh, so. then uh, then let's say the, uh, zero okay then it's zero point 0 0.8 times uh, 2.667 then it gives us a 2.1336 okay so then means uh, to completely burn 0 0.8 a kg of cork of carbon we need um when to we need a uh, two point uh one a six one three three six kg of oxygen right and then uh okay moving forward to uh hydrogen hydrogen uh let's uh, okay let's create this here so under hydrogen i will say the hydrogen plus uh oxygen it gives us a uh, uh, h2 or which is water then we have to uh, balance uh, this equation then we're going to add two here and add two here and then now we have four of uh oxy of hydrogen and then we have two of uh ox okay of uh four hydrogen and two oxygen so then uh, now when you react using uh the atomic masses we have two multiplied by two multiplied by one so one is uh, the mass of um, the atomic mass of uh, ox of carbon. Then this two is this one, and then two this one plus uh, two multiplied by sixteen. It will be equals to two into uh, two. okay so it's going to be a uh, two into uh, two times one uh, plus uh, 16 right so then uh, this one going to be four plus uh, 32 and uh, we equals to uh, the 36 okay going to divide it by one by four so then I divide by four divide by four then we divide it by four. Then one kg of hydrogen. Okay, let's say one kg of hydrogen. And then say one kg of hydrogen. It uh, need uh, uh, thirty two divided by four is eight. So it's eight kg of oxygen would give us a uh, nine kg of water okay so uh, then uh, now in other words that uh, one kg of uh, of hydrogen it needs eight kg of uh, oxygen to uh, to completely burn to produce uh, eight kg of water right then uh, now uh, we have we only have uh, eight kg of 
hydrogen so therefore we're going to say the 0 0.08 uh, multiplied by 8 then it will give us uh, 0 0.08 uh, multiply by 8 it give us it will give us 0 0.64 uh, kg of oxygen so that means to completely burn 0 0.08 kg of hydrogen we need a 0 0.64 kg of oxygen right and then uh, uh, moving uh, to a uh, sulfur so uh, sulfur sulfur plus oxygen is equal to uh, give us a sulfuric oxide okay then uh, okay this the the this equation is balanced then uh, oxygen uh, sulfur it has 32 uh, uh, 32 of okay 32 kg by atomic mass then 2 multiplied by 16 and then it give us uh, 32 plus uh, 2 multiplied by 16. Then uh, this one give us 32 plus 32 uh, is equals to uh, 64. Then divide by 32 all give us 1. 1 equals to 2. Okay, so then here uh, yeah, is um, the uh, that means here on sulfur uh, to completely burn one kg of sulfur we need uh, to one kg of oxygen to produce um, to produce uh, two kg of a uh, sulfur right so then uh, now we only have a uh, 0 0.06 kg multiplied by one is 0 0.06 kg right so to complete the pen 0 0.06 kg we need 0 0.06 kg of oxygen okay so then uh, now um, oxygen uh, because if we look at our uh, if we look at our data here our fuel we have oxygen inside so oxygen does uh, does not react with oxygen uh, same as uh, nitrogen and other I guess is now so then uh, now we're going to uh, combine all the the the, uh, the masses of those oxygen right so we said uh, to completely burn a uh, carbon we need a 2.1 kg then to completely burn uh, the hydrogen we need it as uh, 0. Point uh, 0 0.64 and then to completely burn the, uh, the, the sulfur we need a uh, 0 0.66 okay then press 0 0.06 okay so then uh, this it will give us uh, the total uh, the total oxygen that uh, we need inside them remember we are calculating uh we want uh, the the amount of uh, air required to completely burn uh, this uh this fuel right so then uh, now we have uh, um oxygen right so they said as as 2.1336 uh, plus 0. Uh, 64 plus 0. 06 it gave us uh, um, so the total oxygen that we need is 2.8336 okay so then there this is the amount of oxygen that we need but we need the mass of a uh, height of um of, oh, okay we need the, the mass of um, oxygen of a sorry so they say the air contains a uh, dairy uh, 23 percent of oxygen okay let me write this down a a contains dairy 23 percent of oxygen uh, by mass ne? by mass okay and then here a again 
contain a 77 percent of a nitrogen okay by mass so then uh, that means uh, a a is made of uh, oxygen and um, nitrogen so both um, when we combine a when we combine oxygen and uh, nitrogen it will pro give us or else it will produce uh, a right so then uh, that means uh, to calculate the mass of a yeah? the mass of a go in this oxygen we have to calculate using this 23 percent but first uh, to calculate this mass of a remember uh, a year in our in our data we have oxygen right so if we have our oxygen or which is 0 point or, or which is six percent we have six percent of oxygen inside these and so that means already uh, 0 0.06 kg of oxygen we do have so that means we don't need a 0 0.06 kg of oxygen uh, so then for, therefore to calculate the total oxygen now so that means uh, to, to calculate the total oxygen it will be equal to um, the, the this uh, 2.8 3 2.8336 minus 0 0.06 right so this is the oxygen that we um, we required or else this is the the, the mass of oxygen that we need to calculate to completely burn this fuel but already inside this fuel we have 0 0.06 uh, of uh, kg of oxygen right so therefore we have to subtract that 0 0.6 of uh, oxygen then we're going to say 0 0.06 then it will give us a uh, 2.773 uh, of oxygen okay then uh, this is the mass of oxygen that we required so to calculate the mass of a required if we going to say uh, 20 going to say 100 over 23 multiplied by the mass of this oxygen which is 2.7736 then it's going to give us uh, it's going to give us uh, how many is going to give us 12 kg point zero five and uh, nine okay so this is the mass of a required to completely burn this um, oxygen so the real amount of a to find the total okay do you have the amount of oxygen right to find the total uh, which is uh, this a then we have to convert to say 100 over 23 but if you have uh, the amount of oxy of uh, a then you want the amount of oxygen inside this a then it's going to be 23 over 100 all right so then uh, this is how you calculate uh, your uh your marks then uh we this is um if you will be asked to calculate using a first principle right if you calculate using a first principle this is how you have to uh, calculate step by step and then combine all the, then you have to find a formula that says a required is there is there on your formal on your formula sheet say 100 over 23 into 8 over 8 over 2 okay 8 over 3 carbon plus uh, 8 oxygen plus uh, sulfur minus uh, this oxygen so if you if the they say it calculated the uh, the amount of a required right you could just go to as uh, calculate using this formula beside if they say they don't use um 
uh, the news uh, okay if they didn't specify if they say if they will specify that they can create using a first principle then this is a, 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 the first principle but if they didn't say they use a first principle we're going to use a, this formula it will just give you the straight answer right then uh, you have 8 over 3 times uh, the carbon which is uh, 0 0.8 plus 8 or multiply by 0 0.08 plus 0 0.06 minus 0 0.06 right then this one it will give you the total uh, percentage or, or the total okay the total mass of the air required so which uh, the air required is uh, 2 is 12.05 9 kg right okay so this is the amount of air required but uh, another thing here on our question they said uh, we have how many 12 uh, percent excess a is used right so and then here we um, out of 100 percent uh, which is this 12 which is this 12.05 uh, yeah this 12.059 kg of a is 100 percent this is the uh, a that we need to uh, completely burn this uh, uh this fuel but we exceeded these uh, uh 12 percent so therefore uh this uh, is all already a hundred ne? so but now we're going to say 12 uh 12 point zero point uh five nine going to multiply it uh, by okay okay we're going to multiply it by 100 we're going to multiply it by 120 over 100 so the reason we add 100 this 20 is the percentage of the access uh, but uh, already we have already got 100 percent in the system and then we add another 20 percent therefore we're going to say 120 right if we have the access okay so because we exceeded by uh 20 percent therefore we're going to say 100 plus uh 20 and it give us 120 then we're going to say 120 divided by 100 multiplied by the, this mass okay so this is um the, this mass that we get um before we include the excess mass this is our theoretical mass right so if they say calculate the theoretical mass of the air uh, of of the air required to complete pen this uh well therefore we're going to use this 12 point zero or five um, percent then this one is our theoretical mass right so if we say it can get the actual the actual uh percent okay the actual uh mass uh the actual mass of air required to complete pen this uh oxygen therefore we have to include our excess now so our excess we're going to say to 112 so okay 12.059 times uh, 120 divided by 100 is it give us a 14 14.4708 kg of a right so therefore this one is the actual actual um, mass of a you will require to completely bend this uh, uh this fuel because of uh, the excess but if we don't have uh, this excess ne? if they don't have this excess therefore our answer is complete here in with this theoretical mass ne? okay so uh just tune in to uh, for the next video where we're going to calculate uh, the masses of the uh, of the product right so this is the the mass of a required we will just continue from 
uh, this example, right?